Hi everyone, Adam here with a quick creative tutorial in ACDC Ultimate 2020 edit mode. So a user sent me an interesting graphic design effect asking whether or not we could replicate the style in ACDC. Uh, it turns out we can. So today we're going to make this, which uses silhouettes and masking to create something akin to an optical illusion effect. This tutorial may be a bit advanced, so if you are new to the software, I'd actually recommend checking out our workshop on edit mode first. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description. So in order to start this, we actually need a silhouette image. I'm going to open one up in edit mode. Okay, our image is open, but it's a little bit tall, so we need a bit more horizontal room. Uh, I'm going to click on the Resize Canvas tool on the toolbar, and let's make this image a bit wider. I'm going to make sure my opacity is set to zero so that I get a transparent background. I'll click Commit to finalize these changes. The next thing we want to do is make a good selection of our subject. You can use the Magic Wand tool for this, but, um, but because we already have such a nice silhouette, I think I'm just going to use pixel targeting for this. Uh, I'm going to navigate to select and pixel targeting from the dropdown. All I'm going to do here is work with tones. I'll click the min button on the left here and just raise the black slider, which is the slider furthest on the left. Our target mask illustrates that I have selected my subject uh, and actually a bit of the sky portion up top, uh, which we can actually fix. I'll click OK and navigate to the selection brush from the toolbar. I'm going to right click to deselect the sky. Nice. With our selection complete, let's mask this image. To mask this image, we navigate to the Mask button beneath the adjustment layers. Now I'm going to add a blank layer, and we're going to fill that layer with yellow using the paint bucket. I'll change my foreground color to yellow and click anywhere on our blank layer. Looking at our layer panel, we should have one yellow layer and our masked image above it. So here's the next step. I'm going to right click on our mask and copy it. Then I'm going to hide layer one. Let's click on our orange layer and we're going to add a mask to this layer. I'm now going to paste what I copied on our hidden layer to our mask on our orange layer. Right click and paste as a mask. I'm also going to invert this layer. I like this, but I'm going to use a black brush to round out our subjects back here. Click the brush tool and click the foreground reset button here. And make sure you have your mask selected to brush out this segment. Cool. Now that that's done, we're going to place our secondary image. In this case, I'm just going to drag and drop from my film strip onto my layer panel, but I can also use the add file as a new layer button on the adjustment panel. So I'm going to zoom out so that I can match my subject roughly with the face structure of the silhouette. I'll move this image to beneath the yellow mask. With the placement complete, I'm noticing that I actually need to rotate this image. I'll do this by using the Rotate filter from within the Geometry section. From here, I can add some filters, texture effects, and text to finalize our image, but the actual complicated part of the image process is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks to Norman for the suggestion. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon for more tutorials and workshops.